You're watching the Pix11 News at 6. It is out with the old and in with the new in Queens. Con Edison no longer using power plants that burn fossil fuels as of this week. Yeah, all new at 6. Pix says Michelle Ross explains how they've transitioned to cleaner energy and how it will help the most vulnerable residents living in the area. North Queens residents can now take in a breath of cleaner air as Con Edison is no longer dependent on fossil fuel burning power plants. The utility company built a six mile long transmission line that runs underground carrying renewable electricity. The cable starts at the upgraded substation here in Long Island City and ends at the substation in Corona. The power plants, also known as peaker plants, operated mainly when demand for power was high, such as during heat waves, but not anymore. Peaker plants are, are typically older fossil fuel burning plants uh, with high emissions. And so these transmission projects will allow us to retire those third party owned peaker plants. The $275 million project took two years to complete and they believe will help New York State reach its climate goals. The industry is changing direction from when these red and white smokestacks were erected. When those plants were built in 1963, they ran on coal. This put residents of the Queensbridge houses, New York City's largest public housing complex, at risk. At some point, someone thought it was a really brilliant idea to put a coal-fired power plant in the urban center within walking distance of a significant group of our citizens. Residents are pleased to hear of Con Edison's switch to renewable energy as the surrounding area has been referred to as Asthma Alley. I think it's a great thing because it's going to cut down on asthma and the allergens. And cleaner air is on its way to two more boroughs. Con Edison is working on these same projects in Brooklyn and on Staten Island, expected to be completed by 2025. In Long Island City, Michelle Ross, PIX11 News. All right, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on outside. All right, Chris Samino, what's up? Well, it looks a lot like yesterday, the day before that, the day before that, but a couple of raindrops right now. Most of today, though, was rain-free, especially from the city on towards the east. Saw more showers out to the west. Another unseasonably cool day. Temperatures only.